hey beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel again mm -hmm. guess what we're doing today no we're not cooking <laughs> so um today we're going to um one of our Igbo sisters um graduation ceremony yeah so um today um our Igbo sister she will be sworn into the nursing profession yeah that's i'm so excited like i'm really really excited so um she's family Igbo. so i'm like why don't i put this in my youtube channel yeah so um so i'm going to show you all walk you guys through the whole ceremony everything so um yeah i hope you're really enjoying this channel so don't forget to like subscribe turn on your post notification mm -hmm. now let's begin <laughs> So people who know me well would say that I straddle many different and often competing worlds. I'm a clinical professor, an educator in the MEPIN and Master's Midwifery um, programs. I've been that, doing that for 10 years, and I'm also actively uh, practicing as a nurse midwife, and I have been doing that for 24 years. And now, we would like to welcome Dean of the School of Nursing, Dr. Catherine Gillis, for opening remarks. Please give a warm welcome to Dean Gillis. nurse for over 50, a mother of two, a grandmother of five, and today I am a very, very proud professional and I hope a friend to those of you who are going to have the opportunity to walk across the stage and celebrate this first horrific and difficult <laughs> And if you think it was just you, uh -uh. it was hard for all of us. It was hard for everybody in the room. And I appreciate especially uh, the qualities that many members of your class, I dealt regularly with some, I appreciate the qualities that you brought to our exchanges. On behalf of the 2023 mapping class, we thank you for your time, patience, love, and inspiration that you showed to this year. Please join us in thanking these amazing individuals. Thank you all. You may now take your seats. 
Our class would like to recognize the incredible faculty without whom there would be no Bevan program. Faculty members, can you please stand and make your way to the stage? We are so grateful to have been on the receiving end of your seemingly limitless wealth of nursing knowledge and passion for educating you possess. We thank each of you for your unwavering dedication to your students and for your patience, encouragement, and mentorship throughout the academic journey we call MEPIN. Thank you. Thank you all, you may now take your seat. <laughs> Next, we would like to acknowledge the Methan mastermind, Kiza Chidiya. Kiza? Yes. <laughs> program management for the MEPIN program since 2013 and ensured this year ran as smoothly as possible throughout the many changes we experienced. Without him, we would also not be having this beautiful ceremony that we're having today. We're deeply appreciative of Kiza's hard work and expertise. And Kiza, please accept this small gift as a token of our appreciation. Next, our class would like to thank Dr. Peterson Pierre. As our STEM instructor for the first six months of MEPIN, he met us when we didn't even know how to put on sterile gloves. <laughs> he made sure we felt confident in our clinical skills and always created a safe space for us to learn, ask questions, and speak up. Dr. Pierre ensured our voices were heard and tirelessly advocated for our students' needs. This year would have not been the same without you, and we deeply thank you, Dr. Pierre. chapter of the MEPIN program. While this comes with some sadness, we want to emphasize the proud history of MEPIN and how honored we are to be a part of it. To the previous MEPIN students, we thank you for your advice and mentorship on navigating this extremely non-conventional entry into the nursing world. We are excited to join the MEPIN ranks and carry on the legacy by the way we care for our future patients as registered nurses and advanced practice providers. Good luck on the NCLEX, everyone. <laughs> She's a board certified as both a pediatric nurse practitioner and primary care services, 
and as a nurse executive advance, please give a warm welcome to Dr. Yvette Caceres Ortiz. Hello, everyone. I'm Yvette Becerra Ortiz, Chief of Advanced Practice at UCSF Health and Assistant Clinical Professor at UCSF School of Nursing in the Department of Family Health Care Nursing. You are nurses with prior careers and experiences, and you come from areas such as engineering, art, finance, writing, massage therapy, and other parts of life. As such, you bring a unique perspective, and you bring a unique skill set to nursing. Although the inclusion of non-nursing individuals brings many advantages, you have all experienced this past year the necessary training to de develop the clinical competencies required of your practice. The MEPIN program has prepared you to obtain the necessary nursing qualifications while leveraging your prior experiences. Today, we gather to celebrate a momentous occasion, the White Coat Ceremony. This ceremony signifies the beginning of your journey to become compassionate caregivers, advocates for change, and champions of access to care. As you slip on your white coats, let the weight of this symbol remind you of the profound responsibility you are about to shoulder. You are stepping into a profession that is not merely about treating illnesses, but touching lives, holding hands, and bringing hope to those who need it the most. Historically, we advanced practice providers came into existence because of a need, a call for access to care. This phrase echoes with the cries of the underserved, the marginalized, and the forgotten. In our world, too many individuals face insurmountable barriers in accessing the care they desperately require. But you, the future advanced practice health nurses, nurse practitioners, nurse midwives, and clinical nurse specialists, have the knowledge, skill, and attitude to break down these barriers and bring healing to these neglected corners of society. There will be moments when you question whether you have what it takes to make a difference. But remember this, you are not alone. process overseeing it. So your names are very familiar. I've worked with Dr. Marianne Biangoni with many of you to support you during your process, right? And it's up there and here we go with the nursing pledge. Please all join me in saying yes. With full knowledge of the responsibilities that I am undertaking, I pledge to care for my patients with all the knowledge, skills, and understanding that I possess. 
I will not permit considerations of gender, race, religion, political affiliation, sexual orientation, nationality, or social standing to influence my duty of care. I will spare no effort to conserve meaningful life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will refrain from any action which might be harmful to the quality of life or health of those in my care. I will practice nursing with integrity, humility, honesty, and compassion, working with my fellow healthcare professionals to meet the needs of my patients. I will respect the dignity and religious beliefs of the patients in my care and hold in professional confidence all personal information entrusted to me. I will acknowledge the limits of my expertise and seek to maintain and increase my understanding and skills throughout my professional life. As a lifelong learner, I will strive to apply evidence-based practices to promote the advancement of nursing knowledge. And may I always act to preserve the finest traditions of my calling that may long experience the joy of healing those in need. Again, I am so very thrilled that you have gotten this far. I will be cheering you on through your NCLEX, and my door will be open for the next component of your master's program. I expect two years from now to be calling your names again for the completion of your master's degree. Good luck. all of our MEPA faculty, our students, special guests, and Dr. Mary Lynch for the last segment. As we come to a close, I would like to take this time to thank my amazing and stunning co-master of ceremonies. I would also like to remind you all as you set out to crush NCLEX and to take on your master's years that there is a community in MEPA as the saying goes, once a Meppin, always a Meppin. We are here in your master's courses, on campus, and in your community to be a resource of support. While this journey is yours, and all you are learning will shape your clinical practice, we are here when you need us, and celebrate you in all the triumphs. So I am sending you all the Muppet vibes, and I look forward to seeing you not in green scrubs. Right? In conclusion, that I hope you continue to know your story. Your narrative is powerful, and it belongs here. We are meant to be in conversation with one another, and you're the new front line. There are so many ways to be a nurse, and all nurses have an end goal of a career in nursing or advanced practice nursing, but that final career will look different based on your own narrative how you identify in the world, and how you choose to apply the skills and flex the lens that hopefully MEPIN has provided you. Your future careers are built on the stories of your patients thus far, your ancestors, and if not your ancestors and communities, then on the backs of other communities who have not had a voice in nursing until you showed up. Through you, the stories of which may never have been heard or accurately represented will have arrived, just as you have arrived to this day. So congratulations on behalf of the both of us, class of 2023. So this concludes today's pinning ceremony and white coat ceremony. Thank you to all the families, friends, and loved ones who have joined us today and again, congratulations to our newest and last Mepin class. Yeah.